Hey y'all, welcome back. As you can see, we're hanging out at the electric, electric boogaloo. No, the electric uh, E-Series uh, Blackstone again. We have bacon. Can you see bacon? You can see bacon. I didn't have bacon yesterday to break it in, but we got break bacon breaking in bacon today to bring it to a new breaking in bacon better bacon Boudreau I don't know I'm running out of B words we also have some lettuce mm -hmm. we have some tomatoes mm -hmm. these are tastily premium vine ripened tomatoes Enjoy the garden fresh taste of summer. Uh, what else do we have? We got some mayo. And we have some nature's own perfectly crafted brioche style buns. So we're going to have BLTs on buns. We're going crazy up in here. And believe it or not... I don't know. What was I going to ask you to believe? Oh, this is my, uh, become one of my favorite brands of bread. Anyway, uh, it's heating up. It's almost up to the red. And, uh, we'll start cooking here in a minute. Okay. If you missed yesterday's, there we go. I'm trying to block the sun so you can see the thing there. Not doing a good job, am I? There we go. Uh, with these E-Series, you start the button, turn it to your, it spins, set your temperature. Oh, now it's working. And uh, then you push the button again. It doesn't say that in the directions. Bad, Blackstone, bad. Explain that to people. Anyway, and then over here, it gets up to the orange when it's in the heat, the temperature zone. It goes all these little white dots as it heats up. And this lights up whenever the surface is hot. So uh, let's throw some bacon on. Okay. Um, bacon. I don't have my bacon press with me. So hopefully it doesn't get all... Early on me, trying to not use my fingers, but you can see that's not going well. So we're going to use our fingers. Whee! Yum yum, BLTs. Um, again, if if you missed an episode, and if you did. Shame on you. I know you're, you're, you're supposed to watch every single episode from start to finish. Actually, that's how uh, YouTube, they don't go just by clicks anymore. It's uh, how long people watch your videos also. Anyway, um, if you missed, I'm, I'm house sitting for a friend, and he bought this so I could still do griddle porn uh, while I'm at his house. Now, I thought I was going to, we thought I was staying. A week and a half, and uh, another friend has stepped up to spend time here, so I only have to spend three days, and uh, so I have. This is my last day of of the electric, but I really like it so far. It's uh, you set it up in the house. 
you can uh, if you have an RV it would be perfect and look how anti stick slippery surface and it actually works better than the, the uh, steel cold rolled steel um, it's it's super non-stick it's lightweight the lid comes off you can carry that this comes off and you wash it with soap and water and you can't use metal utensils you got to use wood or uh, uh, plastic or silicone so you don't scratch the surface and you can't cut on it I think I can with my uh, with my regular griddle you can do that on your regular griddle if it's properly seasoned um, so then you take this off take it in the sink wash it with soap and water which is nice you don't have to go through all that trouble that, that we go through with our regular uh, lap stones and then the base you pick up look I'm touching and it's, it's not hot pick it up carry it inside lightweight three pieces plus the the uh, grease cup they're, they're putting handles on the grease cups now I'm mad at them for not doing that with mine so let's take a look and see I'm sure there's heat zones I just don't know what they are um, I have, I've only used it for hamburgers. Hey. Um, the heating element comes out and makes a big circle. So it's probably cooler here and here. Probably. But uh, that's something that, that will come with time and practice. And uh, that's... Uh, our guest star today, Clover. Let's go see what Clover's barking about. And we'll be back. Okay, boys and girls, we're learning something together. Still getting cooked. Shriveling up. Still need some cooking. Still need some cooking. Here's your hot spot. So... I'm, I'm sure there's more uh, we'll learn as time goes on, but just like my regular griddle, this is your hot spot right in the middle. Okay, let's go back to cooking bacon. Okay, hopefully you can hear me over the clover barking. <clears throat> just to show how non-stick this is, Slide these. Now watch them slowly slide to the back on their own. That's how non stick. They just slide downhill. So this is non stick for sure. It's like one of those new uh, copper clad, granite clad, ceramic, whatever. Uh, it's seriously non-stick. And the middle is for sure the heat zone. And, uh, we're almost done. We'll be back. Okay, welcome back. These are about done, so to turn it off, I hit that a couple times. Maybe I hold it. Maybe I... There we go. Push and hold. Turned itself off. That'll stay on until the thing cools. And uh, meanwhile, check it out. BLT, huh? 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 Doesn't that look good? You know it does. Okay. So it doesn't get as hot as our regular. I don't think. Uh, 
Maybe that's just me, maybe. Because we live up in the mountains, and uh, things really get hot up there. Um, but, um, at, in fact, I cook on medium low most of the time because it heats up so, so much that I'm afraid it's going to burn out my uh, s starter switch again or something. So I'm super careful about not letting it get too hot. So it's 425 and I, well, ours gets what, 500, 600, 700, 2000? I don't know. I don't have one of those fancy thermometer things like you guys have. But once that cools off, soap and water, and I'm done. Pack it up, take it inside, and uh, we're going to eat. Very handy. I like it. It's a thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching, following, sharing, subscribing, uh, come out complimenting, and most importantly, thank you for feeding my fragile ego. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!